Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about parallel plate capacitors in A-level physics. A parallel plate capacitor is going to have one positive plate and one negative plate. There will be a uniform electric field between them. Now let's have a look at the equation for the capacitance of this capacitor. In our first case, we're going to be looking at a parallel plate capacitor with no insulator between the plates. The capacitance will be proportional to the surface area of the plates. And this makes sense because if the surface area is larger, you'll be able to store more charge and hence the capacitance will increase. Additionally, it is inversely proportional to the distance, and this also is logical because if we think about it, if we decrease the distance, our electric field strength will be greater. The constant of proportionality for a parallel plate capacitor with no insulator is just the permittivity of free space, which is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 in standard units. We can make our capacitance increase by inserting an insulator between the plates. Let's say that this insulator will have a relative permittivity of ER. We can modify our equation to include this. In this case, the capacitance will be given by the formula ER, the relative permittivity, times E0, the permittivity of free space, which is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12, times the area of one of those plates divided by the distance between them. Okay guys, now let's have a look at a problem. We have a parallel plate capacitor which has plates of size 20 by 40 centimeters and they are 10 centimeters apart. There is an insulator of relative permittivity of 2 between the plates. 1. Calculate the capacitance. 2. How much charge can this capacitor store when it's being charged up to 6 volts? In order to tackle one, or the first part of this question, all I need to do is write down my formula for capacitance, which is that C will be equal to ER, the relative permittivity, times E0, times the area, divided by the distance between the plates. Now, my relative permittivity in this case is 2, E0, the permittivity of free space, is given in the A-level formula booklets, and uh, you can also easily find it on the internet if we don't, if you don't do A-level physics, so it'll be times 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12, multiplied by the area of the plates. Now, I'm assuming those are rectangular plates, so they're going to be 20 by 40 centimeters, so let's not forget to convert those to meters. The area will be 0.2, which is 20 centimeters, multiplied by 0.4 meters, which is 40 centimeters. We're going to be dividing all of this by the distance, which in meters, 10 centimeters, is 0.1 meters. And let's put this expression into a calculator. And this will give us approximately 1.4 multiply by 10 to the power of minus 11 farads. So this is the capacitance of this very, very simple setup with a couple of metallic plates with a little bit of an insulator between them. Now let's have a go at part two. How much charge can this capacitor store when charged up to six volts? Well, remember for any capacitor, the amount of charge is proportional to the voltage and to the actual capacitance. So all we need to do to find the amount of charge that is stored will be to time this times this value by uh, by 6, which is our voltage. So 1.4 times 10 to the power of minus 11 multiplied by 6. And if I just put this into a calculator, I'm going to get approximately 8.5 up to two significant figures times 10 to the power of minus 11 coulombs of charge. Okay, folks, well, hopefully the parallel plate capacitors make sense, and thank you very much for watching.